Well, one thing that will start to happen, and we think it's starting to sort of engage investors at the moment, is that uh, earnings growth for this year for the U.S. will be around about uh, 40%, 42% year-on-year growth. Uh, but for next year, it's only likely to be a pedestrian sort of 11 and 12% year-on-year growth. So the higher the earnings growth this year, the more difficult it will be in 2022 uh, to surpass that sort of level of activities. So certainly um, if investors are paying up now for quite um, high rates of growth, they've got to be extremely confident uh, that they're not going to get any sense of disappointment in 2022. So I think one thing that will start to weigh on people's minds is that we, we can't really uh, get any better and we are going to start to revert to trend both in Europe and in, in the United States because that, that sort of level of activity we had in the last 12 months was highly exaggerated by, uh, by base effects. Wait, are you saying this is as good as it gets? If, if that is potentially the case, at least when it comes to earnings, which of course have been stellar as we close out this current earnings season in the US, what's the strategy? Do you say, oh, this has been great. I love it. I love my gains. I'm going to sell out to sit on the sidelines and wait for a better level to get in again? Or is there a different, more targeted strategy to take? Well, I think there will be a group of investors coming into the year end that are going to look at potential policy mistakes uh, from the Fed or the ECB. And certainly uh, what, what we can look at uh, through countries that have changed policy over the last 12 months is that there has been a very disparate response to uh, the sort of economic growth. Of course, China, which started to uh, change its uh, fiscal and monetary stimulus uh, 12 months ago has already gone back into easing. And New Zealand, uh, which uh, sort of saw very dramatic changes in the employment conditions, not only uh, sort of abandons its uh, purchase program, but of course this week is looking to raise rates. So I think the way investors have got to sort of look at this sort of next 12 months is that we are potentially going to get very disparate uh, policy responses and in many cases, uh, we should set ourselves up for some disappointments that some of the central banks will act ultimately actually have to reverse course or uh, do something much more dramatic than what investors had discounted in the last, uh, last couple of months.